back to Central Park for the start of this latest edition of the series, the United Airlines NYC Half Marathon. Over 20,000 head out for a circuit of Central Park before breaking out to 7th Avenue. Then, the elite women. Back to the start in Central Park, the final waves head out for their hilly Central Park loop and already the first wave has reached 7th Avenue. And just to keep the energy level up, while the main field is heading down the west side of 7th Avenue, New York Roadrunner's Times Square Kids Run heads up and back the east side of the avenue. This field includes 700 young runners from New York Roadrunner's free running program. 50 states and many countries represented in the field. This is the only day of the year that 7th Avenue is closed to vehicle traffic, so savor it. To the women's elite race, Joyce Chip Garui of Kenya and Molly Huddle of the U.S. go shoulder to shoulder. Huddle is the defending champion, but Chip Karui won the 2015 Healthy Kidney 10K in Central Park, so she has great closing speed. It would be a really big deal to replicate a, a win here, especially with the field being so deep. Um, I'd be really happy. I would definitely make a mental note of it, just how special that would be for me. Uh, but make sure, you know, I got my work done first. Molly is getting her work done. But so is Joyce. 7th Avenue is now the place to be and be seen. Aid stations come in a variety of flavors. Huddle on the left and Chip Karui. Wow. Huddle by eight one hundredths of a second. A replay shows Huddle just having that half a stride and a new course record. Over 20,000 take on the downtown journey. A great way to take in the running capital of the world. The United Airlines NYC Half Marathon from Central Park to the Battery and lots in between. A great way to travel your way at your pace.